Art History Lectures presents a preview of upcoming five online live interactive classes, Artists and Their Masterpieces, Edward Manet to Pablo Picasso. Edward Manet's famous Olympia painting was exhibited in the Paris Salon of 1865. It caused such a scandal that guards had to be posted to protect it from being vandalized. It's hard for people today to understand why a painting of a reclining nude would cause such an outrage, but the salon goers of 19th century Paris were not used to a woman that gazed directly at viewers. Everything about her, from her black velvet choker, to the African maid, to the black cat, screamed prostitute, making the men feel uncomfortable, especially at a time when syphilis was rampant. Manet was considered the father of Impressionism, though he never considered himself one and never exhibited with them. However, he was good friends with the Impressionists, especially Claude Monet, whose painting, Impression, Sunrise, coined the term. The Impressionists were considered radical because they painted en plein air, outside, and were not concerned with detail, but the effect of light atmosphere, and weather on subjects and landscapes. Edgar Degas, an Impressionist, is best known for his oil paintings and pastels of ballerinas at the Paris Opera, but Degas not only showed dancers in pretty tutus and point shoes, but also the desperation, poverty, and prostitution that went along with it. One of his most important sculptures, Little Dancer of 14 Years, was reviled in the press and disparaged by the public. It was not a sculpture of an elegant ballerina, but a young girl with a contorted face in a pose full of tension. Mary Cassatt was American, who was a good friend of Degas and exhibited with the Impressionists in Paris. She is often considered a woman painter instead of just a painter because her subject matter consisted of the private and social lives of women and the bond that existed between mothers and their children. But her poignant and beautiful paintings were limited to this woman's work because in 19th century Paris, women were not able to attend any of the public places that men frequented. Vincent van Gogh painted Starry Night in the small village of Arles while he was living with post-impressionist artist Paul Gauguin. It was in this period of time when he created some of his best-known paintings, such as his series of sunflowers. His impasto technique, brilliant use of colors, and short choppy brushstrokes did not go over well with the art community in Paris, and he succeeded in selling just one painting in his lifetime. After Van Gogh's mental deterioration, Paul Gauguin traveled to Tahiti, hoping to find primitive people and culture where he could live a simpler life. France, however, had already begun colonizing Tahiti, and Gauguin was forced to travel into the interior. He used flat swaths of color to paint the young Tahitian women, most famously his 13-year-old child bride, who was left behind when he turned to France. Au 
Henri Matisse masterpiece, La Joie de Vivre, was painted in the south of France, where he was creating works alongside artist André Durand. Color had become more important than line, space, or form, and many of his canvases focused on flattening the pictorial space and simplifying forms. He exhibited with artists such as Durand, Maurice de Vlamnik, Jean Metzinier, and Georges Braque. They are called the Fauves and were known for the painterly quality of their work and the way that they abandoned representational or realist use of color. After surgery for cancer that left him bedridden, Matisse began to cut forms and images out of painted pieces of paper, creating papier collé, which became not only images for books, designs for a chapel, but works of art in their own right. Picasso is one of the most recognized artists in the world. His artwork was extensive and broad, from drawing to painting to ceramics. His style switched direction radically, creating new movements as he went. Demoiselle Davillon, created in 1907, changed the history of art, sparking a new way of looking at art. Thought to be too radical, even by his friends and supporters, the painting wasn't exhibited until 1916. Five prostitutes are shown, contorted in impossible poses, with two of their faces obviously inspired by African masks. Le Demoiselle was one of his first cubist pieces, where the women and drapery were created from slashes of straight lines, flattened forms, and angular planes. It became one of the pillars of modern art, alongside Henri Matisse's Joie de Vivre.